I am your host, Debbie, here to help you get in the know about Waco. This episode, we're going to be spotlighting family fun events to take part in as things are slowly going back to normal. With us spending so much time together indoors, it's important to get out and enjoy time together now that everything's opening back up. Up first, Keep Waco Beautiful and Do It Best Circle Hardware Store will be hosting its rainwater harvesting class on Saturday, May 16th from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. With an additional 30 minutes to ask questions and network with your fellow rainwater harvesters, there are only 30 spots available for this class, and you will walk away with a how-to guide provided by Keep Waco Beautiful and a constructed brain barrel with additional materials for you to take home. The ticket price for this class is $50 to cover the materials you'll take home with you, but the education and materials you gain from this class are worth four times the amount of the ticket price, not counting the memories you'll make with your family. So, if your spouse, partner, friends, or kids want to join, they're more than welcome to come with no additional fees. And if you're a Keep Waco Beautiful member, you can use your promo code on the back of your card to receive a 10% off for the class. So let's learn how to harvest some rainwater while keeping Waco beautiful and making beautiful memories. Up next is Little Land's Play Gym Friday Fun Days. Every Friday, they are offering free snacks, drinks, activities, and music with admission. From 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., it will be their music exploration class. Little Land's music exploration program is designed to provide children with an experience that introduces them to various types of music, encourages exploration of musical instruments, and develops a personal sense of musicality. Each session will explore a variety of fun and engaging music and movement activities. And if you sign up for a membership, you will get 50% off this class. Up next is their sensory art class starting at 10.30 a.m. Little Land's sensory art exploration program is designed to provide children with an experience that engages multiple senses at once and exposes them to seven primary elements of art. Color, line, shape, space, form, texture, and value. The sensory class is designed for children ages 18 months and up. This class is only $20, but again, if you're a member, you get half off. This is a great way to get your little ones out and active, especially if you've all been cooped up inside for so long. If you're looking for something to do with your bigger kids, Brazos Theater is having a quarantine scavenger hunt. This Sunday from 6 to 8 p.m., you can search as many items on the scavenger hunt list as you want to win the Brazos Theater prize pack. You can work alone or as a household team, which is fun for the whole family. And, best part, it's free. But remember, when you're searching outside, be sure to exercise social distancing of at least six feet from non-family members. So here are the rules. The event will happen on Sunday, May 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. The list will be released on their Facebook event page at 6 p.m. on Sunday. Any photos loaded after 8 p.m. will not count, so they suggest loading them no later than 7.55. All photos must be uploaded in one post. You are able to start a new post on their event page, select add photo or video, and then load them all at once. No previously taken or downloaded photos are allowed. All photos must be taken between 6 to 8 p.m. on the day of the contest. This means at least one person from your team must be in each picture. Everyone must appear at least once. You will get a point for each eligible picture loaded before 8 p.m. And some items have possible bonus points. In the event of a tie for highest points, a drawing will be done. And everyone is eligible. Their patrons, their volunteers, their sponsors. And since the list is kept secret until 6 p.m. on Sunday, everyone has the same chance. So get out with your family and have some fun doing a scavenger hunt. Billy's Barn is getting back in business with their Small Business Saturday event. So come on out to Billy's Barn this Saturday on May 9th from 1 to 5 p.m. It's so exciting to get back to Small Business Saturdays to help support our small businesses and local business owners. There will be yard games and local vendors both inside and outside of the barn. So come out to Billy's Barn to just relax, spend time with your family, celebrate, and shop for Mother's Day. Admission is free. There will be DJ Chris with K Entertainment as one of the secured vendors that will be there on Saturday that will be playing music. They will also have special DJs available the day of the show. So if you're looking for a local venue, this is a great opportunity to come see their grounds and make some great memories while doing so. You can enjoy a taste of New Orleans with Po Boys Grand Opening this Friday on May 8th from 11 to 8 p.m. The first 25 people at 11 a.m. and again at 4 p.m. will receive a free side item. There will be a raffle to win Po Boys for a year. There will be three winners, one on Friday, one on Saturday, and one on Sunday. So bring the whole family out and have some fun while trying a new restaurant opening at Union Hall. If you're looking for another great place to go, Walk On Sports Bistro is holding a Mother's Day live music festival. Sunday, May 10th is Mother's Day, so bring your mom out to Walk On for a honky tonking good time. There'll be great food and drinks and an awesome atmosphere. The weather is supposed to be gorgeous and there's indoor and outdoor seating available for you to take full advantage of it. So come on out and eat, drink, and listen to some great music. But make sure you call ahead to 254-732-9200 to find out details on the seating capacity and if there's any other pertinent information you may need. It'll be a great time, so make plans to be there. Like I just mentioned, Mother's Day is Sunday, so you can show Mom that she's the G-O-A-T, or the greatest of all time. This Mother's Day, with the Goatogram from Waco Goat Yoga. So what is a Goatogram? Well, the Goatogram is a 15-minute visit with a baby goat that will be delivered to your home or office. They also 
are offering special add-ons like a bouquet of flowers. To order, you can email them or message them at wacogoatyoga at gmail.com or you can find them on their socials. They have a few different gift options available. They have the standard Goatogram, which is starting at $65, which includes a 15-minute goat visit, or a Goatogram with a bouquet of flowers, which starts at $80. So get a goat and have some fun with the kids this Mother's Day. Thank you for tuning in to this week's podcast. This is your host, Debbie, signing off. Now that you know, go. Just go, Waco. This has been Rogue Media Network Podcast. Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about... Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and, and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story. And just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best. And we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> Bros and Bros and Heroes. Gonna tell you about pros and foes and heroes. Gonna tell you about. Welcome to One Star Rewind, a new podcast about those dreaded one star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one star review to better understand how it happened when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one-star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners who will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story.